So last week, Twitch added something really awesome to the streamer tool belt, and that's the ability to run charities through your stream. Now, not only is this great if you're planning on doing particular charity streams, but personally for me, I think it's also great to just have one of them on your streams at all times. It just kind of motivates people to maybe donate to the stream instead of to you, if you don't mind that, uh, which I don't. And it kind of just gives a little bit more of a spotlight to some certain charities, especially ones that maybe you want to personally support or advocate for. Now, the awesome thing about this as well is that Twitch is taking no cut of the charity donations. Everything gets done through PayPal's giving fund policy. So any of the transaction fees that happen there will happen, but Twitch is taking no cut and everything goes directly towards the charity. Now, it's really easy to get this thing set up. You just go ahead and hit your dashboard. You go to the charity. And then you can go ahead and you can start and create a fundraiser. You can start searching for charities by name. Unfortunately, right now, it is only charities within the US. Hopefully they expand that out elsewhere. I'd love to do a charity within Canada. I really like supporting the Food Bank of Canada. Um, and what I'm planning to do personally is have a charity active at all times and just kind of rotate through them maybe every couple of months. Um, around the holidays, I usually like to do the food banks because that's usually when they're used the most, so I'd probably end up switching to maybe Feeding America since I can't do the Food Bank of Canada here. But this will just help, you know, put a little bit of a spotlight on there and maybe instead of somebody donating to me or giving me a tip on Twitch, they'll go ahead and donate to the charity, which I really don't mind and I would prefer that that way anyways. So you just go ahead and you can search for your charity here. Um, you can see the full list. Once you click here, it'll show you the full list. There's quite a few uh, as well. And then once you choose one, it will start a fundraiser. So let's go ahead and do the Michael J. Fox. So here you can go ahead, you can set a goal amount. You can set it for as high or as low as you want. Um, and then you can see what the preview of that uh, donation or that charity will be. Now, if we go back and we look at my fundraisers right now, you can see that I have one for GLAD. I've set the goal for $5,000 just as a, you know, this is not going to be an ending kind of thing. It's just open-ended. Um, and I can stop it and I can restart it as much as I'd like. But once somebody has, re has donated money to the charity through your stream, you cannot delete it. So you can delete it if you maybe chose one by accident or you want to change the goal. You can change the goal at any time, actually. Um, but if you accidentally chose the wrong one or you want to wait and do it a little bit later, as long as nobody has donated to it yet, you can change it. But as soon as someone has donated, you can't delete it. You can only stop it. So if you stop it, it'll tell you that you're going to do that and you can start this fundraiser again at any time. Now, if you are getting a lot of donations and you want to keep it out of your activity feed, um, you can go ahead and turn on the filter and you can take off charity donations from the activity feed if you'd like. Entirely up to you, but I think for me personally, you know, I'm really small and I don't really have many people in my chat. So this is something that I can easily just keep on and then I can thank people for donating to said charity. What you can also do is you can create some kind of incentive for people to donate to the charity if you'd like. You can make it so though. You know, if you guys meet the goal, uh, we'll do something, we'll do a giveaway, you know, I'll do a cosplay, I'll do something. You can kind of add some fun into that as well and kind of incentivize people to contribute to it. Now, I hope you found this new tool that Twitch is providing super helpful. I'm really excited that it was added. I like to do quite a few charity donations throughout the year and I'll typically do that on stream where I'll end up matching any donations or any money that I make from the Twitch and YouTube channel towards a charity for a specific month. This tool just makes all of that quite a bit easier. It allows it to be very easily accessible for people. Um, it's a very quick process for them to donate so it kind of removes some of those barriers where people are too lazy to donate. And I think it's something that doesn't hurt at all. It just only helps. Just like, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, Thought Slime, Step Back, and Northern Son of Dojo. And thank you for watching this video. If you want to see any of the other cool streamer tools that are available to you, you can go ahead and check out this video right up here. And until then, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Friday.